We will continue with sprint training, but now we will make it into a game. Anytime you can add a competition between your goaltenders, it promotes hard work and maximum effort from the participants while creating an enjoyable atmosphere. Each goaltender will have on a belt connected to a long lead. The leads from each of the goaltenders will have Velcro so the two leads can be attached to one another. During the next set of drills, one goaltender will be attempting to run away from his partner and break the Velcro bond, separating the two leads, while the other goaltender will try to keep up with the first so the leads do not come apart. First have the lead goaltender in front of his partner. The length of the leads and the speed of each partner will determine the distance between the goaltenders. If the lead partner is faster than the chaser, then the two would be closer together at the start. Whereas if the chaser is faster, then the leader should be given a larger head start. This ensures a fair competition and that both goaltenders are working hard. Upon a signal, both goaltenders will sprint towards a predetermined finish line. If the leader is able to outsprint the chaser and break the bond between the leads before reaching the finish line, then he wins that race. The chaser can win by keeping up with the leader so that the leads are still connected at the finish line. Now one goaltender will be running backwards while his partner attempts to sprint by him and break the connection between the leads. The finish line should be moved closer than in the previous drill and the goaltender running backwards should be given a large head start. During a game, good recovery is vital to a goaltender's success. A goaltender with good recovery skills will have strong legs and will be able to rapidly regain their ready position after a save. Here, the goaltenders will be working on developing the initial burst of power to quickly jump back to their feet from any position. The goaltenders will be sitting beside each other with their leads connected. Whenever he is ready, the leader will jump to his feet and sprint towards the finish line. The leader, who is attempting to break the connection, can place his hands and feet in any manner while the chaser has to have his legs straight and his hands on his thighs. This creates a slight disadvantage to the chaser, who will have to work extremely hard if he wants to keep up to the leader and maintain the connection between the leads. The goaltenders can also be lying on their stomachs or on their backs. Another variation of this drill would be to have the goaltenders sitting with their backs to each other but not touching. This time, the lead goaltender can jump up and run in any direction in an attempt to break the connection between the leads. The chaser must not only be able to quickly jump to his feet, but now must also respond to the direction in which the leader has chosen.